Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Matchbox Resurrection. And today I'm playing with all these scraps. They are the leftovers from another job. Do you remember when I did a heavy? To do this project I've had to cut two beetles in half so it can split and then it can be reattached by magnets. I leave a link at the end of the video so you can watch it again if you want. Well, these are the remaining parts of that job and I'm gonna see if I can build a truck and a trailer. Do you think I'll be able to do it? Tony Stark was able to build this in a cave! With a bunch of scraps! Well, I'm not Tony Stark, but I'm gonna do my best. So, this is what I've got. As you can see, both halves are now a bit too small to fit together, but uh, at least I've got most of the other parts. As you can see, I wasn't very careful when I was cutting it, so I need to flatten it down so I can put a new door and uh, also some new pillars on the windows. And of course, don't forget to save all the metal filings. Once I'm happy with the shape of the body, I need to do the same with the window, the interior and the chassis. To make the pillars, I'm just gonna use some hair clips. To make a new door, I'm gonna use this piece of metal, I'm not sure what it is, it was in the cellar and I've been making some lettering for my guitar strap. I think it's aluminium, but it's very easy to work with. I've cut it a bit bigger than I should and now I'm just gonna fix it temporarily with a bit of super glue to the rest of the body so I can file it.
To make the window that goes in front of the trailer, I'm using a bit of masking tape, so I've got a straight edge in between both windows. This is a tool that I use on my leather work. It's got a blade, and you can move this up and down, but you also can use some calipers or even a ruler. And after cutting the window, I've got to do a lot of filing and sanding until it gets smooth. It doesn't look bad at all, but I still need to fabricate the hinge so I can open the door. It needs to be quite small, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use this. This is from a mobile phone and it's the part that holds your SIM card and I'm gonna use both edges to make the hinge. It's a bit difficult to explain what I'm doing, so just follow the recipe. Once the hinge is done, I just glued it to the chassis and to the door. I still need to tidy up a bit, but that's basically the trailer done. I'm gonna do the truck now. As you can see, there's not much left of this one, but we'll see. And then I've got this chassis. It's a matchbox and it's from a Chevy. The rest of the car is no longer available, so I'm gonna use it for this job. And I like it because of the chubby wheels, but obviously the axles are a bit too big, so I'll have to shorten them down. The first thing that I need to do is build the back, and for that, I'm gonna use the same metal that I was using before and I just glued a template on graph paper.
to make sure the walls are the same size, I just hold them together and grind them. They get really hot, so I'm just gonna leave them to cool down for a bit. I've also made a panel for the back of the cab, but as you can see, there's a lot of roof missing, so I'm gonna have to fill that up. As for the chassis, I want to use these wheels, but like I said before, the axles are a bit too wide, so I'm just gonna get rid of the spaces that go in between the wheel and the chassis. The front axle is a bit rusty and stiff, so I'm gonna have to use a bit of WD-40. To make the roof, I'm just gonna use a bit of masking tape, super glue and baking powder. I'm using super glue to build the box. This metal doesn't like the soldering iron, it needs a higher temperature and if you use a blowtorch it actually warps. So this time just super glue and again I'm using the graph paper to make sure that everything is square. It's dry now, and as you can see, I've done the wheel arches and everything, but it's very fragile at the moment. So I'm gonna use this bit of styrene, and that will hold everything into place with a bit of super glue and a lot of baking powder. I'm using styrene this time because I'm running low on the metal, and you're not gonna see the styrene because it's gonna be covered with a wooden bed. Once it's dried, it actually feels pretty strong, so again a lot of filing, sanding and polishing.
As you can see, the finish is fantastic. I need to find some more of this metal. I think it's just aluminium, but uh, yeah, that's all I've got. So I need to make it last. The interior of the front part is missing, so I'm just gonna use this one, which uh, I don't really know which car did it belong in first place, but uh, I'm just gonna trim it to size, as I only need to use the front seats. I've glued both parts together now, uh, and I've done some more filing and sanding on the casting lines and now it's ready for priming and painting. I'm just using a piece of plastic to make a new window for the door on the trailer and after that I'll be putting the trailer together so I can finish doing the fixing for the tow hook. I've glued a magnet on the top and a bit of a paper clip on the door and now you can open it and close it. I've put the truth together already as it was a bit more complicated and now I'm just gonna add the final touches. This is also a spare part from another car, I don't know what car it was, and uh, it's got a real light on the bumper, so I'm just gonna use it. This is also from a mobile phone, and it looks like a vent, so I'm also gonna use it. I've made a wooden bed out of coffee sticks. The only thing needs doing now on this one is the tow hook. To make the part that goes on the trailer, I'm using a paper clip and I put it together with the soldering iron. I've done one side I'm gonna do the other one and as you can see this time I'm using a ceramic tile and it made things a lot easier as you will see
spreads like butter. It needs cleaning and I'm also going to sand it down flat before adding the other part. I've cut it to size and I glued it on the chassis and I think everything's done now. The tow hook is actually from another car This one was a lot of fun. Everything is made out of scraps and also some parts are made from scratch. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to share, like, subscribe and I'll see you next week with something else. Have a good day.